Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I assemble my email industrial weaving machine from start to finish. If you want to see how I do this, thank you for watching. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Now when you buy your email industrial weaving or overlock um, machine, it's going to come in three major sections. One section is the, one part is the um, motor, one part is the table, and one part is the head of the machine, okay? So it comes in three boxes with these three different parts. So when you're assembling it, you want to start with the table first, and then you attach the motor and finally the head, okay? Now, all the things you need, all the screws and nuts you need for each section is packed in that section, okay? So try not to bring everything out and then mix it all up together. Apart from that, you're going to need your plier, you're going to need your spanner, a 14 or a 13 spanner. You're also going to need your star screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, and a hammer, okay? Now, starting off with the table, as you can see, this is the tiny drawer that comes with the um, weaving machine and it has some, some um, um, screws and some tools that you need to fix the table. Now to start with, you want to take the larger leg, you're going to take the smaller leg and put inside of the larger leg. Make sure that the longer parts, you know the legs are have this T shape, okay? So make sure that the longer side of the T for both the top and the bottom one faces the same direction. So the longer side should face the same direction. Now, once you put it in, you're going to use the screws that are available in that tiny drawer that came with, that came packed with the leg, or that came packed with the table rather. You're going to go ahead and just use the, the appropriate screws and then use your um, flat screwdriver to just screw that in, okay? Make sure that you adjust the height to what you're comfortable with. You can make it shorter or higher, okay? So make sure you adjust it to what you're comfortable with. Now, once you're done with that, you want to do that for both sides. So you have two legs. So make sure that you do that for the both legs. And now once that's done, you want to go ahead and just place the smaller leg on the floor with the larger side of the leg facing upwards. Now you want to go ahead and put this flat panel this panel actually holds the two legs together, so make sure that um, the legs are you know, on the same height when you actually attach the, this panel to it. So you can start with um, attaching the panel to one leg first. Go ahead and just screw that tight before you put the other leg, um, you know, so before you attach the panel to the other leg rather. There are obviously holes on the legs and holes on the panel as well where the screw is going to go ahead and fit through okay so the screw you have there is going to connect or to, is going to hold the panel with the legs or hold the panel to the legs rather You want to also use your plier and just go ahead and just make that extra extra tight make sure that it's tight so that you know your um your table is balanced it's not wobbly it's balanced it's sturdy so just make sure you go ahead and use your plier to just tighten it very well obviously the side the the larger leg it's the bottom Okay, so the larger leg is supposed to be at the bottom, all right? So don't make the mistake and use the smaller side of the leg as the bottom. So at the bottom part now, you're going to use this other panel here that's a bit slimmer than the first one you attached. And also go ahead and just attach it to the foot of, you know, the table. So go ahead and just screw that tight. Make sure that the panel connects the two legs together as well. And make sure that it's also tight. This is the panel where you're going to um, put your foot pedal, Okay, so make sure that it's tight, it's not um, wobbly in any way. Now you want to use your flat screwdriver and your plier to make sure that it's nice and stable. Now take the tiny um, screw foot that's provided, just go ahead and just screw that to the bottom part of your, um, of your table. Now this would make sure that your, so your weaving machine is balanced on the floor and, it is, and because it's made of rubber, even if you like pull the machine on, and on the floor and all of that, it's not going to you know, cause any scratches on the floor or anything like that, okay? So just go ahead and just screw that on all four sides. 
so you can see it comes with a little tiny um, you know knot there so make sure that that knot is there before you go ahead and screw that in so you're also going to find an l-shaped um you know metal there you want to go ahead and screw that to you know that panel at the bottom there this um, metal is going to hold you know your foot pedal in place okay so you want to go ahead and just um, screw that now because you have two foot pedals you have one that is used to raise up your um you know your footer on the weaving machine which is this one right here and then you have another one that's used to obviously um you know weave the actual um clothing item you want to weave so one this one here the smaller one here is obviously to raise your footer up when you want to take out your um, fabric from the weaving machine and then the other one is, is the one you use to actually do the weaving so because they are two you have two of those metals two of those l-shaped metals for each okay so each one has two of those metals and then they are to be attached on both sides of the pedal so as you can see for the first one the um, metals are on the sides okay so obviously depending on how wide your pe um, pedal is you want to go ahead and also put your um, install those uh, metals as wide as your pedal is i hope that makes sense guys as you can see the smaller one the pedals the, the the metals are actually closer to each other so that it basically holds the pedal in place while the larger one you can see that the the metals are actually farther apart to also hold you know the pedal in place okay now i want to go ahead and just um hook there's this chain that's provided has a tiny hook i want to go ahead and just hook that on your foot pedal the one that's used to raise your foot are up now taking your table you want to take your um you know the leg part and then you want to go ahead and just place it place the leg upside down on the table okay so obviously because the table is upside down the leg has to also be upside down I hope that makes sense guys so you want to go ahead and just tighten that screw so screw the the legs of the table to the actual table so that everything is just nice and um, stable and sturdy. Once you do that for all four sides and make sure that it's tight. Now to fix your drawer, you want to go ahead and just place it upside down as well. You're going to have two rubber panels that's going to, that are going to be by the side of you know the um, drawer you want to go ahead and just fix them by the side there as you can see those rubbers or that rubber helps it the drawer to slide freely okay so you want to put that on both sides and then you want to go ahead and just um, you know screw that down Now make sure that when your your drawer is inside, okay, it doesn't exceed the sides of the table, okay? Make sure that your drawer actually goes inside and is not, you know, exceeding the sides of the table. That's very important. Now you go ahead and just use your screw and then just screw that down. Now guys, you know that at this point where the drawer was fixed, there was actually no visible hole there that's okay the wood is a bit soft not soft in a bad way but wood is a bit soft such that you can go ahead and just screw in um you know you can go ahead and just screw in a screw you know without having to like have like a physical hole there okay so just go ahead and just you know screw those um panels just rubber panels by the side so that your drawer can move freely now your drawer can be fixed on either side either on the right side or on the left side it's entirely up to you and it's your choice now taking out the motor Now you're going to see three um, 
I don't know if I should call them nails, but they kind of look like nails, but they are not actually nails. But for the purpose of this um, explanation, I'm going to call them nails. So you want to pass those nails through the right side of the table and make sure that they come out come out to the wrong side of the table okay and now once that's done you want to take your moto and then you want to insert it make sure that the u shaped part of your moto sits nicely on those nails now you want to go ahead and put your rubber then make sure that you have your washer in there next and then your screw okay so once you put in the rubber um you know panel you want to go ahead and put in your washer first and then your screw okay that is the order it's supposed to be then once go ahead and just use your plier to just tighten that and now you're going to have you're going to see some connection rods or rather two connection rods these connection rods connect your motor to your foot pedal now one of them goes on your foot pedal and the other one is hooked on you know the motor there i want to go ahead and just um you know put them together the rods together and then you want to put this panel making sure that it holds both connection rods together and then you want to go ahead and use your plier to just tighten it make sure that it's not too tight neither is it too loose because if it's too tight it's going to overwork your moto and if it's too loose it's not going to you're going to have to put a lot of pressure before your moto actually works now you want to go ahead and connect um you know your moto to your power switch all right and then to um, insert your power switch all you have to do is just screw it to either side of the table so you, you can either screw this to the right side or to the left side it depends on you okay so just go ahead and just screw the power switch to you know the table and now you can go ahead and just stand your table And now you can go ahead and actually fix your belt you can the best way to fix your belt is fixing it on the motor on the wheel of the um, weaving machine first before you fix it on the motor but for this particular illustration we did it the other way around we fixed it on the um, motor first before fixing it to the um, weaving machine head but ideally it's better to fix it first on the wheel of the head of the weaving machine first and then on the motor. And I want to go ahead and just use the um, motor cover to just cover you know the side of the motor there, make sure that it's secure by screwing it down. Now I want to go ahead and put the other nails, I call them nails for the purpose of this um, illustration, it's, they are actually not called nails. I want to go ahead and put all four of them in those holes provided and once you put them make sure that you use your plier or your hammer to make sure that it's nice and secure inside, okay? Very important. Now this is the screw that's going to hold you know, the oil plate for your machine. Now this is the oil plate. Want to go ahead and make sure that it's hooked on those nails now once you go ahead and just fix the oil plate there you're going to use another um screw and then just go ahead and just screw the oil plates to the table okay that screw you're going to add is going to connect with the one you had just um you know the nail one the one that's i call the nail that you had just initially put through okay now it's very important to note that everything you need is packed separately okay so when you're working with the oil plate for example everything you need all the screws you need are going to be packed in the same place where the oil plate was packed okay so it's easier for you to know what screw goes where as long as you watch the video and you see and you understand what's going on okay now you want to go ahead and just put in your the head of your machine and then go ahead and just insert that um insert your 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 belt to the wheel of the machine and then you want to go ahead and use the cover there to cover the side okay make sure that you screw that tight 
Now remember the hook that we hooked on the foot pedal that's used to raise the footer up. Make sure you take that hook and then you're going to see a tiny hole behind the head of the um, machine. That's where you're going to hook the other side, okay? So that would make sure that when you step on that foot pedal, it raises the footer up. And look at that, guys. We're almost done. Just go ahead and adjust the motor belts. If you feel like it's too tight or too loose, make sure you adjust it well. And I want to go ahead and put in the thread um, holder. It's pretty straightforward to do this. You want to put the longer rod first and then you put the horizontal rod. Make sure that it's right there at the top there. And then you want to go ahead and put the other rod that's used to hold the actual threads. And then you want to go ahead and put the thread plates as well, as well as the um, soft cushioned um, panel that's provided. And yeah, guys, that's basically how to install or assemble your email industrial weaving or overlock sewing machine. <laughs>